Hello, welcome to a new video with quick tips. Uh, some of them I'm repeating from uh, last year. I'm trying to do them a little bit differently and maybe uh, more clear or at least repeat them for new people who have not seen it because let's be fair, I have also noticed that not everybody goes back into the about 200, 250 videos that I've made and uh, well, hopefully this uh, small tip will be useful again. Um, so it's about being able to use some of the automated features like doing eye focus, but still confirming uh, what it has happened. Now, as you can see, uh, I've shown you the back of the camera so I can show you its bottom I'm pressing. Uh, the other camera I aimed to uh, show you the internal of the, what the camera is seeing. Of course, since I'm now focusing on an iPad uh, with a picture of uh, a face, um, it's very dark for the rest of the, of the frame, uh, but uh, as you can see, it's clearly the camera. Um, but I most likely will either use this view where I combine them or where I combine them squished next to each other so you can see the whole screen. So let's get going. So what am I talking about? Now I'm talking about the simple fact that if I'm using something like I continuous eye focus, right? Then of course it will keep, which I put like most people in the middle button. If I press it, you can see it find the eyes and I can the picture. Now that works fine, but sometimes you want to use this in single shot mode or you're in single shot mode for other reasons. So let me put the camera in single uh, shot uh, mode. So now I'm on continuous. This looks a little bit rare for you, but let me show you the whole screen. So let's go to this mode. And then I, I do that because otherwise the face looks a little bit weird if I squish it. Uh, but now I'm not in continuous focus anymore, um, but it can still be very useful to use an automatic function before you uh, do either a manual or a, a magnify focus. So let me show you what I mean. Now if I hit the, the middle button, it still does an eye focus, right? It just only does it for about half a second. So basically it finds the, the eye and then does nothing. And then of course I can take the picture if I want. But what's very interesting is that and this is just an example, in most functions where the camera has decided to focus somewhere or you tell it to focus somewhere, you can actually use the magnify function to confirm if that makes sense. So let me show you what I mean. So let's assume that you're in doubt if you really have the eye in focus or you want to manually check it or make sure that it's hitting the pupil and not something else. Because what you can do is hit the the eye focus and then move and I've put it on the middle button of my a joystick and then zoom in and notice where it's zooming in. It's zooming in on the eye I just focused on, right? So let me repeat that. So let's go out of it again, right? So let's randomly, um, well, let me aim it a bit there, right? So here we go. So I hit eye focus. It finds the eye, in this case, the other eye. The moment that I zoom in, Magnify, you see that it will automatically jump to the focus. Now, what I can do next is either manually or automatically focus in while I'm in magnify mode. So I, in this case, it, this is my normal focus button, my back button, focus button. So if I hit it, you can see that it will now focus in this magnified mode and I can take the picture. Right, so let's repeat it. I do a focus. In this case, it only finds the eye, right? So now if I zoom in, it will zoom in to that area because it doesn't know, oh, it actually doesn't, hold on. So let me move this back a bit. Of course, now it doesn't find the eye. It's just a bit too small for the, the machine, so let's uh, solve that by going into crop mode, then I'm pretty sure it will find it. So now she's a little bit bigger and let's see if indeed that has helped. It will find the eye again, as you can see. Let me. So it finds the eye, zoom in. You can see that you can, then, then it confirms basically where it found the focus. I can either autofocus again or I can manual focus, which is also very nice. So one thing that you can do, so let's assume that I do it like this. I do auto focus. 
I'm not sure I zoom in. I confirm, but I'm still not sure you can see with my other hand that I, if I would have been in DMF mode, which I'm not. Wait, hold on. So let's assume I'm in DMF. And I don't get this battery warning over her nose. You can see that you can combine these tricks so that you can, if I do focus on the eye, zoom in, confirm, and actually, if you want to, manually adjust just to make sure. Now, this does not only work with eye uh, focus, it basically will always work. So, if I use uh, the, uh, my joystick, because I can't use the back of the screen, to move my focus point, let's assume I put it here, and then I do autofocus, and I'm in doubt, I can magnify, you can see it will start there as its point of Reference for the zooming in. Then I can take the picture. Right, so basically any point that it finds using any method of, of, of focusing, you can uh, confirm basically by hitting the magnification uh, button. And then either refocus in a magnification or click off the picture anyway. So sometimes it, it, it's, I wouldn't say always, but if you just use it to confirm, you might just do the, this normal flow. It's check for the eye. If you don't, don't trust it, zoom in. Make sure, did, did you get it? Yes. And then hit the button to take the picture. So that's the uh, end of the small tip. Hopefully it will be useful for you in some cases where the continuous eye focus does not uh, provide the results that you want or um, yeah, any other um, um, situation where you can actually use the automated uh, uh, finding of focus, but then sort of confirm by uh, magnification. Uh, because most people don't realize that you actually magnify into that area. This actually also works in the reviewing. So um, this kind of a combined uh, tri uh, tip then. So if I now review the picture and I hit uh, uh, magnification, you will see that it shows me where I've zoomed in. So since I can't remember the last where place that I zoomed in, let me uh, do it uh, one more time. So let's on purpose do one picture on the eye. Done that now, and then also do a picture, uh, uh, a focus on a totally different place. So let's say the bottom over there. Oh, then I should not hit eye focus. Hmm. Oh, why is it now doing? There it is. <coughs> so take the picture. You will see that if I can go in review mode and um, I zoom in, it will now confirm that I found my focus over there. Right? And if I zoom in, you'll see that it will just keep zooming into the point that I focus. Well, if I go to the previous picture, so this one, you will see that it used the eye to focus. And again, if I zoom in, either by pressing the button, oh, if I zoom in, either by pressing the button multiple times, or by rotating, you can see that it will basically confirm where I found my focus point. So this is one picture later. Do the same thing. It should go to the corner. And if I do this, I can quickly confirm if I found the focus. So, um, yeah, that's what I want to show you. Um, hopefully it was useful. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.